Capricorn, welcome back to I and Iqbal. This is an Iqbal. I'm going to be doing your general reading for Feb 2024, especially the first week of Feb. What's going to happen? This is a general message. Take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells and premium charge crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. Sun or rising or Venus sign in Capricorn, plus cross watchers can watch this read. See, all the details are given down below in the description box check that out follow my instagram at ilima.in see the messages to you capricorn feb 2024 wow what a new beginning right off the bat you have a very good big ass new beginning coming in and i am seeing that there's going to be a whole new cycle in your life full of happiness, deep love and commitment towards self, first of all. I'm definitely seeing a relationship that's happening in your life. You've just met this person and things are just getting better and better between the two of you. Or you're going to meet someone you and universe wants you to prepare in the February month. There will be either you're announcing your wedding and there's a uh, engagement happening. People are coming together, congratulating you guys. Or if you're completely single, you will start dating and within a short period you're going to commit and announce that yes this this is working like you are in a commitment you're about to meet your soulmate get out of this thought process that you can never have your soulmate i'm also seeing there's one more thing that you have to be very patient okay in uh, seeing who your soulmate is or in uh, deciding whether you want to be in a commitment or not just because you want to be in a commitment and some of you are so desperate about it that you may end up choosing the wrong person and mystic mistook uh, this as your soulmate. So you have to go through certain hidden trials. It's not that the first person that comes in is the one because I said so or because you feel like it. Don't fall in love on the spot. You have to be very good in making a right decision. Like the discernment, as you say. It's important. You're about to meet your soulmate. And very less time in a very less time. But yes, there is someone that is coming be before your soulmate. So the thing Capricorn over here is that you can't trust just anyone that comes in. So you have to be really careful of who you're trusting, who you're not trusting. Because... Here you have to be cautious. You have to use your senses. You cannot just be like, oh, this is the one for me just because they're showing me love. You have to be smart. You have to give it some more time, like one or two months. Get to know the person more. Only then should you decide because there is not just one person coming into your life. There are two and more than two options coming into your life. You have to decide which one of them is the one because there will be some stress around uh you know making a decision or deciding who is the one for you that will be something that will stress you out let me give you a description about this person we have the king of wands and the ten of pentacles this is someone that keeps talking about how strong you are how gentle you are how kind you are confident you are somewhere this person is someone that uh, was not ready to commit to anyone you since the time they saw you they met you this person feels a deep connection somehow you're able to tame this person and because you're able to tame this person they can see that this is the one you're the one for them there is someone that has changed their mind and they used to be single they used to be flirting around or they were just having fun in life but now they actually want to settle down all thanks to you this is what they want to say so if they've had any codependencies or negative habits all of them is going to be released to be with you so this is the connection for you this is the relationship for you this is the person for you okay so that's a confirmation that you're ready to meet your soulmate okay and you are getting married soon you will be uh, expressing everyone and inviting everybody on this marriage of yours then we're having the six of uh, swords the five of swords and the two of swords there is someone that you need to let go of or there is someone that is coming between you 
and the person that you are about to end up being with so maybe there is a person that's gonna be looking like your soulmate but is actually not your soulmate so you have to be open and you know see which one of them is the one for you because i'm feeling one of these options are going to be extremely manipulative and always keeping you stuck and confused so if you feel like you're stuck with someone you're confused with someone you need to walk away from that person because they're not for you another hint for your soulmate is that they're attractive tall good looking athletic maybe but lost the color red and they lo uh, they love to flaunt you know flaunt you or they love to just compliment you all the time that's another hint the five of wands there is an energy of someone that is constantly fighting with you you need to come out of that there is someone that will constantly fight with you i feel like that is a big red flag so there's someone that will show you a big red flag and that is not going to be the person for you the person that is coming after that person is the one for you so make sure that you're making the correct judgment in who is going to be the one at least there are two options over here either you're already dealing with the one some of you yes i think that it's time that you're going to come out of this energy you are in a relationship some of you capricorn i'm sensing there's an energy you're going to um you're going to reject someone okay there is a person that has been treating you really badly maybe a scorpio and this person is a highly controlling narcissistic and i feel like now you're getting rid of this energy you should because if you're not dealing with this person thankfully but that's possible that this person is coming next so you have to be careful but the one that you're going to end up is coming also very very soon within two months time frame you will have two people one of them is your soulmate another person is completely manipulative so make sure that you're not rushing into things yes be very slow you will get proposals from both of these options they both will seem to be extremely nice and kind initially showing you you know intense emotions and one of them is going to make you feel like you're not good enough so there is your red flag so you will have lot of red flags that you should not be ignoring if someone makes you feel sad about things then you have the answer that's not the one for you so yes there is someone that's going to make you feel super sad some of you are actually already dealing with this person and trying to come out of it anyway it's time for you to move on to be with someone that's going to love you like crazy this person is a crazy die hard lover of yours they're going to pamper you they're going to love you okay um you have a long way to go with this person there's a long term relationship happening i'm also seeing marriage and commitment is definitely there but there is an energy of someone that is narcissistic around you that you need to come out of yes the other person is very bossy and wants to always control you so you have to decide who you want to be with okay take it slow this is my message for you maybe one person that you're holding on to is quite proud of their money but this person cannot give you love yes you know this not this person you will know this person is not the one for you it's just that they're trying to control you and you're still staying there for for no reason for no obvious reasons so it's it's time for you to walk away from someone that is not meant for you so judication is also another judgment card yes you might end up making a false decision you might choose the wrong person for yourself so you have to be really careful capricorn you might end up choosing the wrong person over the right person so two people and you have to decide this is an extremely important reading playfulness one of them is just playing around okay another person is getting actually involved in your interest they're taking interest in you they're talking to you they need you they talk to you about deeper things and one of them is the one that you will separate yourself from but they'll try, still try to reconcile that false person will still try to reconcile all the time so if you made a decision to get over someone that has been extremely manipulative don't allow that person to reconcile with you because they will still try their best to come back in your life 
okay make a very strong decision stick to your decision maybe this is something that is in your past or that once this happens when someone from the past is trying to come back understand that it was in the past and you cannot allow it to come back you have to release the past person this is very very important capricorn that i am getting that new path new option new love is the one for you nobody from the past nobody wants to reconcile is not the one for you deeply you know you know the answer but you still want a confirmation here i am giving you confirmation that that person is not the one for you let me see more about new love how and where yes first of all separate yourself from the one that has been narcissistically trying to control you or will try to control you once you're done with that person you will start afresh i'm seeing within 3 weeks 3 months as well can take place but you will find it really difficult to come out of a narcissistic controlling relationship that is something that i'm surely sensing you might find it really difficult there you go from there onwards i'm seeing a new beginning full of love and happiness brightness and a huge smile so you will be highly prosperous if you walk away from someone that has been trying to control you or that you might get into a trap of such a faulty person that you would find it really difficult to come out of it so once you come out of it everything will change everything you will get married you will have a new beginning you will find your lifelong soulmate the one way how you can activate your senses to make the right decision and be able to stand for yourself with strength and confidence is by doing yoga yoga is really good or any form of exercise okay is good meditation yes for a long time you will be in this denial that no 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 this person loves me that is why they're treating me like that this person loves me and is scared of losing me that is why they're trying to control me you will try to you know uh um, manipulate things according to this person's actions towards you but you will never say that this person is a wrong person like they are wrong so that is something you will find difficult to understand it will take some time but take help of spiritual guidance spiritually you are being protected no one can harm you even the the person that you are holding on to will not be able to harm you at all let's see any angel guidance for you thank you god yes you will go through a deep awakening where you start to feel like you deserve more and you will ask for more it's not you won't settle for less now i'm not seeing you being in that energy i'm seeing you settling for more i'm not seeing you compromising i'm not seeing you allow, being allowed to be taken advantage of i'm seeing you standing for yourself i'm seeing you strong and powerful energetic right down the comment section i'm strong and i'm powerful someone that's going to be in love with you from head to toe is coming towards you and that person is your soulmate 100% marriage commitment is there just a little bit of patience i feel this is about to happen this is it's not going to take a long time they could be slightly older than you could be in 30s or 40s as well anyhow i'm definitely seeing this happening so this person will bring rainbows in your life this person will bring happiness new vitality so much happiness like i can sense it you guys will hang out you guys will have a lot of fun you guys will literally you know live each and every moment together it's beautiful so there's a new beginning in your life happening capricorn get ready there you go i told you there's a new beginning happening but you have to stick to it because someone from the past is not happy without you but they are someone that if you being with this person they will not keep you happy so you have to understand that you don't think about what they feel or think if someone wants a reconciliation but it's not going to do you any good walk away from that person because i'm consistently seeing them trying to reach out to you asking for apology wanting to be back in your life you have to let go because you're going to get engaged soon to your person scorpio pisces cancer for some of you stick to your decision don't keep changing it this is something that i'm getting you don't even know how much love you're about to get it's like uh, abundance love in abundance you will have never found someone that can love you or that has loved you like this so crazy 
so this is abundant love so someone that can love you through any uh, boundaries like this person can do anything for you this is someone that definitely is more successful but they always treat you like you're a trophy they always put you on a pedestal they always listen to you they always want to make you feel like no you're better than me okay this is like a dream person guys okay let me see the signs coming in i'm seeing aries i'm seeing taurus I'm cold. I'm seeing Leo. I am seeing Scorpio. Then you're seeing Scorpio again. Oh my gosh. So these are the options that you might be dealing with in this coming time. Pisces. These are the messages. Now let me see from Aries to Pisces. What does your person think it be for you, Capricorn? hail Capricorn your life is going to definitely change the only thing I want to say is don't look back that's it and you'll get your whole happiness like everything Aries please towards Capricorn Aries sees is a light in the uh, the end of the tunnel they feel like you're, you're someone that comes with a lot of happiness and brightness in their life in, in your life Taurus is going to come towards you with a proposal a major commitment a Gemini feels lost in their world they are going through financial crisis or they're going through a separation they're not out of cancer wants to take it slow take it easy they're very excited but they're trying to control their horses leo is planning on coming towards you still trying to make a decision they've been watching you a lot virgos falling in love with you like crazy guys libra Libra is stuck on you. I feel like this person cannot stop thinking about you, but they can't offer you anything in return. Scorpio, obsessed with you, sexually obsessed. If this is a past person, if this is a new person, they want to see how it goes. They're very interested in you. They will speak about it. Sagittarius is being a little competitive. You need to decide. Capricorn is like chasing you hard. You're their desire. You're the one that they are targeting on. Aquarius, a little too bossy, but they can be kind and possessive, uh, wants to marry you as well. Pisces, obsessed with you, something to do with the eyes, they're obsessed with your eyes or they're obsessed with this relationship, they cannot see you with anyone else, they're obsessed with you, they love you, they like you, this person wants to compliment you all day and all night. One last advice, I think we've done that. So I hope this reading has helped you and Capricorn, do not forget to... Um, like this subscribe share and comment down below and stick around for more guys and do subscribe to i enigma to like this video for more stuff and i'll see you back again so take care of yourself bye bye